So first, I guess I'm going to get right to the point as to what I don't think you should buy or use and why. So basically, cheap reels off eBay. So there's a bunch of reels off eBay that claim to be just like the big name brand reels. They'll be full metal body construction. They'll have apparently really strong and good quality drag systems. Well, I can tell you now, these things are absolutely junk and I have learned the hard way. Fishing in a tournament in my trailer boat a few years ago, I had a few of these reels and on that day, we hooked basically several marlin and everything you could imagine could go wrong, did go wrong. So we had drags melt, we had reels fall apart and almost literally explode and burst into pieces. We had drags seize up on us. So we basically, it was probably one of the best fishing days of my life. We hooked something like 10 marlin that day and landed, I don't know, one or two and basically lost the rest uh, to real failures. So we were then forced to effectively use spin tackle and things like that to try and land marlin, which didn't work out very well. So. I had a bunch of those reels because I too was sucked into, you know, the photos, the stats, the, the eBay sellers talking them up. And I've got to say, I won't mention brand names, but I really strongly recommend sticking to the big brands when it comes to game fishing reels, um, because you spend a lot of effort and money and time getting out on the water, chasing these game fish and to do everything right and to have your real fail is just absolutely heartbreaking. Now, with that out of the way, I might talk you through a few of the reels that I've got here and I will challenge you to think about who are you actually buying your game reels for? Are you buying them for the fish and catching fish or are you buying them to impress your mates, other people and people at the boat ramp? Because I do think a lot of people who have boats full of beautiful, gold, shiny, very expensive reels actually have those reels and they don't probably need them. However, don't get me wrong, I do love seeing a boat full of really nice, uh, you know, Shimano Tiag reels all polished up and looking fantastic. So if you've got them, more power to you. If you don't got them, um, consider some of the cheaper ranges of reels available. So if we look at what we've got, um, here, I might sort of go left to right. I've got a range of reels here. So this is the first decent game fishing reel that I purchased. And it is basically probably the smallest game fishing reel you want to own, I would say, and a really good beginner's reel. So it's a Shimano TLD 25. This is the reel that I caught my first marlin on, which is uh, in one of my other videos. You can see this reel in action. Spooled with 15 kilogram monofilament line. On this particular reel, I have upgraded the handle because the standard handle on these TLT, TLD25s are actually quite um, short and the actual handle grip is quite small. So by changing the handle to a larger handle, you'll get a lot more torque and um, it'll just be a lot better reel for you to use. However, this is a single speed reel. So to me, this is the absolute bottom spec reel you would want to be using for game fishing. Now I've caught a lot of fish on this reel, uh, tuna and marlin, and it's still going strong and um, it holds sentimental value for me. So I don't intend to get rid of it. So TLD 25, really good beginner reel for tuna and smaller marlin, I would say. Now, from there, if we take a look at this one, this is a Shimano TLD 30, only slightly bigger than the 25. I think the, the line capacity is actually very similar, to be honest, but you'll notice uh, standard has a, a bigger handle. This reel is a two-speed reel, and I firmly believe that two speed reels are really, really a good thing for game fishing. And I'll talk to you about why in a second, but just like the TLD 25, this is, it's important to note, this is a graphite body reel. So now 
advantages over a graphite reel versus a metal body reel. So they are cheaper to purchase. Uh, they are lighter weight. The disadvantages are they're probably not going to be as strong. However, I can't honestly say that I've had one of these Shimano graphite reels actually fail on me at all. So do you really need metal is the question. All right, from there, this is a TLD 50, two speed, one of the older range models. You'll notice that by the different handles. So the newer ones have a different handle. We'll get there in a second. Spooled with 24 kilogram mono line. Uh, look, these TLDs, even though they're the bottom of the line, Shimano game fishing reel, they really have a fantastic quality drag system. And you know, the Tiagras, etc., probably have a much better drag system, but it's about what do you actually need? Do you need to spend the money on a Tiagra or can you get by with something like this? Because I've got to say, I've fished with these Shimano TLDs for years now. And all the fish I've lost has been due to either leader failures, uh, captain or angler mistakes. Uh, generally, it's more down that path and, um, and other things going wrong. But the reels themselves have been just solid, including in fights of up to several hours on really big marlin. So TLD 50, uh, I've got another TLD 50 here. This is the TLD 50 LRSA model. So that's basically, they call it a long range special. Apparently it has a different drag profile, which allows you to run a bigger line class. <clears throat> so this one here is full with 37 kilogram mono line. Um, you'll notice this is a newer model. It's got a really nice big fighting handle on it. So um, yeah, again, Great reel, same line capacity as the other one, just a new handle and a different uh, drag setup, apparently. Okay, so moving up from the TLD series, you've got the, and I don't know how to say this, so I'm gonna get this wrong, Tyrnos, Tyrnos, I don't know how to say it, T-Y-R-N-O-S, okay, the Shimano range, it sits in between the TLD and the Tiagra. So these actually are a metal body reel and I think they do have an upgraded drag system as well, potentially over the TLD. I'm not certain about that, so don't quote me. This particular reel here has landed me a lot of fish and has really been, you know, thrashed in long battles with big marlin and it just hasn't even broken a sweat, to be honest. It's, it's just been rock solid, so um, eventually I might upgrade all of my TLDs to these things if these things ever sort of start getting dodgy or anything but at the moment there's no signs of that so I really love this reel this is probably my favorite reel and just seems to be my lucky reel we just seem to catch hook and catch a lot of fish on this this thing so great quality drag system again two speed big handle um, good quality reel so my last reel is just, I guess, a bit of a, almost a spare reel. It's another graphite reel. It's an Okuma. Um, it's okay. I definitely don't think Okumas are in the same sort of range as your Shimano's or your pens, but I run this reel anyway. I've had it for a long time. It's never really let me down. It's a 50 size, um, spool with 24 kilo mono as well. So regarding graphite versus metal body reels and the different ranges that are available, I think for me, the lesson has been over the years to stick with the name brands. So really for me, I prefer to stick with Shimano's or pens because they just haven't let me down. And I think the graphite ranges in the Shimano's are absolutely fine. And I've heard um, people saying they've had graphite reels split and things like that, but I haven't had anything like that happen and I've run pretty big drag on these things on big fish. So I think you have to be doing something pretty silly to actually uh, split or destroy one of these Shimano graphite reels. However, those eBay reels that I mentioned, I've split graphite, metal, 
you name it. So I really think the important thing about game fishing reels is buying name brand equipment. Um, rods, you can be a little bit more lenient with. You do still get what you pay for with rods, but I would fully recommend if you have to save longer to buy Shimano or Pen reels, it will be worth it in the long run because when you're out there on that fish of a lifetime, you don't want to be let down like I have been on several occasions. So look, yes, you can go out and buy Tiagras at an enormous expense and um, it'll be really impressive and look fantastic on your boat and they'll last a really long time. But you know what? You can probably buy TLDs as well and they won't look as good, but they'll probably land you a lot of fish and last a really uh, long time also. So now I might just have a quick look at some of my rods here and what to look out for with game fishing rods. Okay, so a really good value rod I find is not the bottom of the run, uh, bottom of the line Shimano range, but one up the Shimano Backbone Elite rods. Now you can get these things in either fully rolled rods like this one here, or you can get them in roller tip or just normal guides. So I personally prefer either normal guides or just a roller tip. And that is because the, guide, the roller guides themselves take quite a bit of maintenance. So they generally, you know, they'll get seized up and stuff like that and they don't work properly. So I'm not a huge fan of fully rolled rods. I would also say when you're running fully rolled rods uh, on out wide from your outriggers, sometimes the line can actually get caught in the end of the roller guide and it just, yeah, it just doesn't work 100% great. So I generally go for roller tips like this one here. So you can see it has normal guides all the way up and just a roller tip or just a normal guided rod altogether. So I also don't mind for a cheap, uh, good, Performing rod is the are these Pen Blue Water Carnage Offshore series. So these have been really good for me as well. I think with rods, again, providing you're sticking with the main brands, you don't need to go overboard. I would like to say though, staying away from the no name eBay brand rods is also a smart move because the eBay rod, rods are very, very, I guess, thick, stiff, they don't flex much. They're basically like trying to fish with broomsticks. So once again, I'd probably recommend sticking with something like a Shimano or a pen rod. I don't think you can really go too wrong with the rods, providing you're matching your rod to the line class of the reel. So if you're running 24 kilogram line on your reel, for example, make sure you've got a 24 kilogram rod Sometimes the rods are actually overrated, I would say, if anything. So a 24 kilogram rod might be a good 15 kilogram rod, for example. But at the end of the day, I don't think it matters too much as long as you've got a name brand set up. Now we'll have a bit of a closer look at the reels to see the differences. So here's the TLD 25, and you can see there's the larger handle that I've added. So here's the TLD. 30. I think they're very similar in size to the 25 as mentioned, but it does have a two speed um, gearbox, which is really important when you're battling bigger fish that are stubborn and down deep. So here's the Shimano TLD 50. This is one of the older ranges. You can see by the, the handle shape there. Here's another 50. You can see it has the upgraded handle and this is the LRSA model, which has a different uh, drag setup. Okay, here's the Tianos 50 LRS. You can see the LRS there. Once again, suitable for 37 kilogram line because of the drag profile. And here's my old Akuma. Now I've had these reels for a fairly long time and you know, I've got to say, I'll be totally honest, I basically haven't serviced them at all. I just use them. Uh, all I do is really give them a bit of a spray down with water at the end of each trip, and that's about it. 
many of these reels I actually purchased secondhand. Um, ironically enough, off eBay, but also uh, Gumtree here in Australia, which is a really useful website. Now, many of them were secondhand but new or had been used a few times. So you don't even have to buy new reels. I bought many of these really, really cheaply. They've cost me bugger all of them. They've been really fantastic, actually. So yeah, that's about it. Stick with name brand gear and I don't think you can go wrong and um, while we wait for this global situation to blow over it's a good time to get your tackle in order and get everything set up to get out and go fishing again. Alright, see you soon.